iCloud Keychain is a really wonderful feature. Even though it's a little half-baked on iOS 7, it is nice to be able to save your username and passwords, all your login credentials to the cloud so that you can easily access them later just by auto-logging in. Uh, but you'll notice on some instances with some websites, you'll get this error message. So far, I will not save your password because the website in question, wellsfargo.com, requested passwords not to be saved. Now, I'm just using Wells Fargo as an example because it's a banking website. And generally, all banking websites will give you that exact error message that passwords cannot be saved. So how do you fix this? Well, I'm going to show you right now. You want to go into Safari's Preferences, and then you want to go to Passwords and Autofill. And then you'll see this little toggle right here, Always Allow. Now, uh, website developers have been able to opt out of this Safari iCloud keychain password saving. Uh, but if you enable this option, Always Allow, it will force Safari to save that username and password to, uh, to the iCloud keychain. And what you wanna do also after you enable that is just clear your history and clear your uh, cookies and data, and that'll allow that prompt to come back up again to save your passwords. Uh, so I'm gonna go back to wellsfargo.com, and I, again, I'm just using Wells Fargo as an example. I'm using a bogus login and password, obviously, but just you can get the gist from what I'm, what I'm doing right here. So I'm gonna put in test and test, and I'm gonna tap the sign on button, and there you go, there's the difference there. You actually get the dialogue to save the password to iCloud Keychain, whereas before, it tells you you cannot do that. So that is how you force Safari to save passwords to iCloud Keychain even when sites opt out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.